Hey everybody, Dwayne Blair here with the NSDA. In this next video, we're gonna take a look at edging. So we all know that we have two edges on our ski, right? We've got our inside edge and our outside edge. The hardest edge to master to get comfortable with for young players all the way through is that outside edge. So today in this video, I'm gonna talk through just a little bit on how to get players a little bit better on that outside edge and a couple of ways that you can work on it. Really, really simple to start and then build up as you go. One of the questions I had was, when I'm going on my outside edge, should I roll my ankle over? Should I kind of get deeper by turning that ankle over? And the answer is absolutely not. And what that looks like is this. If I'm going forward here and I turn and I kind of break that ankle over a little bit and I kind of bend that boot. So what I don't want to do is bend that boot as I'm turning. Two things that are going to happen there is you lose that power in your ankle. So when you go to cross over, if my boot's bent like this, it's really hard to get a good hard push off there. And the second thing is we want that boot to be able to hold that ankle securely. So when I turn, I'm just allowing my body to come into that turn, not folding that ankle over, if that makes sense. So this is gonna help in a lot of our stop starts, a lot of our glides, all that kind of stuff. But when you're working with young players on, on that outside edge, start really, really, really simple. So really wide, and I would encourage doing one leg at a time, right? So instead of going two feet, just going one leg and just holding a turn as wide as they want. So you can set up cones, pylons, a glove on the ice, doesn't matter what it is, just coming around on that outside edge. And the biggest thing is feeling that edge grip. Because what happens a lot of times is when players glide, their edge slides like this. So like they're stopping a little bit, right? Or if they have two feet on the ice, they won't even use that edge. They'll just lift that foot up in the air like this, right? Or put the toe down or lift that foot up. So what we want them to do is feel comfortable on that edge. As they get comfortable, so if I start off with really, really wide turns like this, and just holding that edge on the ice, which is perfect. As they get more comfortable, then I want players to really lean into that edge, right? Lean into that edge. And going back, very, very simple, but I should touch on this, is that body position. So this is some of the first videos that you've seen. We've got a ton of videos on kind of that hockey player position. But as the player's going into a turn, we want to make sure that that head's up, our shoulders are over our knees, and knees are over our toes. We don't want to be way over our toes like this or way over our heels. You'll see players like this, way back and it's really hard to keep your balance back here and it's also really hard to keep your balance way out front like this. So I want to make sure that we're shoulders over knees, knees over toes as we're coming around. So really simple, that heads up and I just hold that edge. And then as I get more comfortable, now I want to lean. So I want to lean on that edge. So as I'm coming around now, I'm going to lean and I want to lean over on that edge and allow that edge to grip in the ice. And the more that edge grips in the ice, it's gonna help with all your, all your skills. So turning, gliding, crossing, stop, starts. Anywhere where you're gonna use that outside edge where you're gonna grip in, push, and then push off that outside edge. The better you are on that outside edge, the better skater you're gonna be overall. So simple little things that you can do, but a couple things to think about just to highlight it here is that body position is gonna be huge. Start with one foot at a time and really focus on just holding that edge nice and smooth, as wide as you want, doesn't matter, especially for young kids. You can even use a circle like this, where players are just kind of holding that edge for a second, coming back down, holding that edge for a second, coming back down. Really simple. And then as they get more comfortable now, they can start leaning on that edge and using that body to really grip the ice, lean in that edge. And that's gonna help them with all their skill, all, all many, many other skating skills, obviously, as they're going through hockey and trying to become better skaters. I hope this helps. Thanks a lot for checking in.